Hi, this is Tom Shue, and I'm going to show you how to get your control rods the right length and get everything so it's set up nice. First thing you want to do is you want to turn on your receiver. And the reason why we do that is because we want to can center up our servo horn. We want to make sure that it's not, you know, out of whack front or back. Then we want to do is we want to set up this black clevis in the front. We want to screw in our brass insert, okay? And we want to mount that just easily just slip one pin in halfway because we're going to take it apart just want it to hold kind of close to where it's supposed to be so this clevis is just hanging there from that control arm and we've already glued in the carbon fiber rod on the back clevis and we basically stuck a pin in there all right now we want to make sure that since our servo horn is square where it needs to be we need to make sure that our control surface is flush to the top of the fuselage okay how we're going to do that is i'm going to use one of my cups and i'm just going to angle it until it presses up against the fuselage now i know it's kind of a bridge across now i know that my control arm is going to be the right length but i have some adjustment because this brass insert is threaded halfway in i can open it up an eighth to a quarter of an inch for adjustment and i can tighten it down to shorten it so at this point, with kind of everything lined up where it's supposed to be, I'm going to come over and I'm going to measure my carbon fiber rod, or mark my carbon fiber rod, just trying to keep everything nice and straight, where I want to cut it with a pencil. All right, I see my mark. I know where to cut it. I'm going to put this inside the brass rod after I sand it and glue it all up to that length. And I have a really good starting point before final adjustment. Um, and I'll repeat the process on the right hand side for the other aileron. Thanks for watching. Okay, one little tip, um, last tip on installing these clevises and pins. You'll notice that, um, let me see if I can't get in there with these my big fingers and show you. Okay, you'll notice that side there's a big hole, and this side there's a small hole. Okay, the side with the big hole is designed to have. The head of this clevis, it's like a flat brass piece, that is supposed to go inside with the big hole, okay? So if we mount this in here like this, you can see that that flat brass area is designed to go inside the big hole. Well, when you mount that, since we're working on the plane upside down, the aileron, you want it so that this pin is from the bottom, okay? So you want the small hole facing up, and then you go underneath, and you press your pin in so the flat head is pressing from the bottom, and that holds it in from gravity, right? I know you're going to be 3D and stuff like that, but the pin's going to be most of the time facing down, so we want to use gravity to hold it in place. All right, so once you get everything locked in, you push your pin through and tighten everything up, and you got a small head coming through, and uh, that's it. Just make sure your pin is from the bottom.